So even if you know absolutely nothing about grape varieties or regions of the world, there's a little clue on the label that you can use to orient yourself to style. It's something that is hard to see on a restaurant wine list, but when you're shopping in retail, it's right on the label. I'm talking about the alcohol content. Alcohol content is a required feature of labels. It has to be present, although sometimes it's not this prominent. Sometimes you have to dig around and look in the small print. But alcohol content can tell you a heck of a lot about wine style. Think of the middle of the road, the normal wine style as being about 13 to 13 and a half percent alcohol. At that level, wines are what we think of as being medium bodied, meaning that they have the mid-range normal richness and texture that we get from a rough alcohol content around 13, 13 and a half. The lower the alcohol content is below 13, in general, the lighter bodied we can assume a wine will be. And when it's lighter bodied, it's almost always also more acidic, more fresh, served very young. Think about the tartness of Granny Smith apples. That's something that we associate with light bodied styles of wine. They're almost always white or pink, and sometimes even sparkling styles, but they tend to be refreshing, brisk, and perfect for uncooked foods like salads, ceviches, and so on. When we start getting into higher alcohol contents, like for example here, this Alvarino at 13%, we know we're getting a wine that has developed a little bit more flavor and richness on the vine because alcohol content is created by sunshine. More sunshine gives the grapes more sugar, more sugar in the grapes gives the wine more alcohol, and that gives us more richness of texture as well as more flavor development. Here we know that we have something that has a little bit more substance, a little bit more heft, and can handle cooked foods, even working into things like roasted chicken or fried shrimp. But it's not just alcohol content that we can use to orient ourselves in the wine store. Believe it or not, the artwork on the sticker can tell us quite a bit too. For example, if I looked at these two bottles, both from Northern Spain, I would be able to guess something about the stylistic difference between the two, just looking at the artwork on the label. The one here on the left, the Vega Sindoa, looks much more modern. It's got colorful artwork, high design, the one on the right is very classic, an old school label that shares a lot of features with the way this wine probably looked 50 years ago. So I can guess that the one on the left here is going to be a more modern fruit forward style, something designed to appeal to a California palate to have a little more in common with those new world styles. Whereas the one on the right is more a classic traditionally made wine, one that is designed to taste at its best with food at the table and might seem a little too sharp, a little too dry, maybe even a little too acidic and earthy when you taste it by itself. And again, that's something we can tell just by looking at the label.